hey, what's good? It's your boy Bob. You checking out Amazing Films. And today I want to talk about was J Electronica's debut album, A Written Testimony, worth the 10 year wait. So let's get into that. Me personally, I think J Electronica's A Written Testimony was was worth the wait and it wasn't worth the wait so it wasn't worth the wait because once we finally got it people been clamoring and waiting on a j electronic the j electronica project for the last 10 plus years we put out songs like exhibit c Exhibit A, all these kind of songs, teasing people, putting him on this high pedestal to make him, make us think that he's some kind of top tier lyricist, which he is. But once we finally got his debut album, it's not even a real debut album. It's him rapping alongside Jay Z. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but when I first got the project and I was first listening to it, all I could think about, all the project made me really want was a new Jay-Z project. Listening to Jay Electronica's project made me want to hear a new Jay-Z project. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people that listened to the album felt that same way because Jay on her doing what Jay do, doing his 50-year-old man raps, and, and it's just, it sounds good. And it just made me want to hear more Jay-Z and not more Jay elect So that's why I say it wasn't worth it. But on the flip side, I say it is worth it because all in all, the project is a good project. And some of my favorite songs on there is um, The Ghost of uh, Soldier Slim, uh, Never End the Story, Universal Soldier. Uh, Ezekiel Will, that's probably my favorite song. And uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's A P I D T A. It's kind of a song that J Elect kind of um, made for his uh, his mom and kind of to Kobe Bryant, like a tribute song, sort of say. Like those are my fa those are my top two favorite songs. But. I don't know why they start playing. To me, it was worth the wait. And on the flip side, it wasn't worth the wait. I feel like, honestly, when it's your debut project, you shouldn't have another rapper, let alone the guy MC, Jay-Z, on your debut project because that's gonna take away eyes, it's gonna take away listens, that's gonna take away the attention from you, Jay Electronica. This is your debut. Jay Z had his debut in 1996. We know what Jay Z can do. He fucking 13, 14 albums in. This is your first album. You shouldn't be having no nigga like Jay Z on your project. And you even kind of, he even kind of. Referred to that on one of the songs talking about I got uh, Jay-Z the God MC on my debut project Ha ha ha. Yeah, that's cool and all but at the same time I feel like you use that as a crutch I feel like you were scared to put out the project and I feel like that's the main reason we haven't heard a project in 10 plus years People put all that put all that weight put you on that pedestal saying you this and you that And it was finally time to show up and you couldn't show up you showed up, but you showed up late, and you brought a and you brought an unwanted guest. Not to say Jay Z's an unwanted guest, but you get you get the, you get the gist of what I'm saying. So it was worth the wait, and it wasn't worth the wait. Hopefully, after uh, seeing how people felt about the project, which when the project first came out, I felt like a lot of people was a little iffy on it, fifty fifty. Some people. Praise the project. Some people was, just couldn't get over the fact that it was there was a lot of Jay Z on the project. Down there, Jay Z on every song, if I'm not mistaken. And then they put an old ass song on there, uh, uh, "Shiny Su Shiny Suit Theory," which came out I want to say ten years ago. Song fire, but still, why the hell did you put that song on there? Like, come on, bro. So, all in all, it 
was worth it, but at the same time, it wasn't worth it. Do I think a written testimony by Jay Electronica is a good project? Yes, I do. I do recommend you go check it out if you haven't checked it out. At the same time, Jay Electronica, we want to see what you can do because if you break this project down, it's really you just doing 16 bars and that's it. You you you, you tossing a rock to Jay-Z to take 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 the wheel. And the first song, the first the first voice that we hear on the project outside of the the honorable Elijah the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is Jay-Z. We supposed to hear, we came to hear you. Why are we hearing Jay-Z verse? Why is Jay-Z the first voice we heard on your debut project? It's just a lot of stuff we can nitpick about this project, but in the end, I'm glad he finally put it out. Hopefully, this is the beginning and not the end because a lot of people were critical of this project and a lot of people voiced their critic, criticism to Jay Electronica and we don't know if he's going to take that in a bad way or a good way, hopefully he be able to man up and just take it. If you're going to be a rapper in this game, you're going to have to take the criticism because it comes with being in this game. So, yeah, it was worth it. And at the same time, it wasn't worth it. I wanted to hear more Jay, a, a new Jay-Z album after listening to this project. I didn't I didn't come to the sense to be like, damn, I want to hear some more Jay Alec. No. I was like, damn, I can't wait to hear a new Jay-Z project. So that that <laughs> saying that should let you know all you need to know about what what this project was. Not to say it was bad, but come on, Jay Lit. We was rooting for you. You kind of dropped the ball. Jay-Z picked it up and ran it in for a touchdown. It's your boy Boss. You checking out Amazing Films. And I'll holler at y'all on the next one. Peace.